Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're going to make this mini album using the envelope punch board. So this week my glitter queens and I are having a blog hop and we're focusing on the stuff that's saying goodbye. And one of the retiring items is the envelope punch board which I'm going to miss terribly. But we're going to make this really cute album. So here's one that I made. I want to show you how it opens up. So there's the front and I have a little belly band on it. So you open it. And you open it again and then inside here you can add either birthday greetings or I think I want to be using mine as a album for pictures but you can add birthday greetings there if you want okay so let me show you this other one so here's this one this is using the floral romance and then this one is using the Costa Cabana cardstock with the how sweet it is designer paper so this is the way it looks in the front also with the belly band then you open it. Now I have measurements written on this, so don't pay any attention to that. <laughs> I will give you all the measurements. And then inside mine, I'm just using the Whisper White to mat the photos. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to give you all the measurements to this cute little album. All right, so let's start with the three pieces. Now let me bring in the envelope punch board. This is what's going away. This is what's retiring this year. This envelope punch board is not only just for making envelopes, but you can make a whole bunch of different things like boxes and bags. And oh my gosh, the ways to use this envelope punch board is endless. So you have this little scoring tool on the side here, and you also have a corner rounder here. But where we're gonna focus is right here. So depending on how big you want your album to be, I made mine a little smaller but you can make it as big as you want. So we're gonna focus down here on the three and a half by three and a half inch size. And then I went down to the three and a half by four. So I actually, I didn't go down, I went up. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need one larger piece. And we cut it six and a half by six and a half. And this is the how sweet it is designer paper. My two pieces are using the three and a half by three and a half pieces. And you're gonna need two of those. And these are both cut at six by six. Okay, and so now we're just gonna go ahead and use the larger one first. So let's start here. All right, so this is the six and a half by six and a half piece, and our first score line is gonna be at three and one eighth. So we're just gonna put this into our ruler here, into our little guide, and you're gonna see the three and one eighth. So you're just gonna line that up, and you're gonna punch, and then you're going to score. Then you're just gonna follow the little tag here, lining that, paying any attention to that ruler anymore. So we're taking this little tag here, this little tail, and we're gonna line it up with the previous score lined. We're gonna punch and we're gonna score. Okay, so this is the centerpiece of our album, which is the larger piece. Now you have the two pieces that are cut at six by six. Now our first score line for this one is at three inches. So we're gonna line up our three inch here up at the ruler and we're gonna do exactly the same thing. We're gonna punch and score the first mark with the ruler up at the top at three inches and score. Then after that, we're gonna ignore the ruler and we're gonna just take our tail here and line it up on the previously scored line. Okay, we're gonna do all three sides. Same piece, six by six, We're gonna start our first one at three, punch and score, and do the other remaining sides without using the ruler. Okay, all right, now we're done with the punch board, so let's go ahead and move that. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and fold our scored lines. Okay, so now this is the time you're going to decide on what side you want facing out, which I'm going to have the Costa Cabana side facing out, so I actually folded those all the wrong way. So let me just flip these around. Okay, so this is going to be the inside of our album. So now we're going to decide, I think this is the larger one, yep. Yeah, this is the larger side. So this is gonna be the center part of our album. Now we're gonna take these two sides here. Let's just focus on one side right here. So we're gonna take our snail, but you're gonna to wanna to use tear and tape. But for the sake of the video, to make it go a little bit faster, I'm just gonna use my snail, but you'll wanna use tear and tape or your liquid glue. Okay, so I'm just gonna put adhesive on this panel right here. 
Okay, so it's on this tab right here, okay? And then we're gonna take this tab right here on the smaller size. Remember, we have two of the six by six, and then this is the six and a half by six and a half. So we're going to take this tab and we're going to line this up on this edge here. Let me see if I can do this. Line this up on this edge and you're gonna kind of position it between your tabs because remember this one is bigger but I want to line that score line up with that smaller one just like that okay so now it should look like this and yeah we're gonna we're gonna tack this down here in a second but we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing on this side so I'm gonna put my snail here okay so I put my snail there and now we're gonna take this tab over here I'm just going to fold this up so I can kind of see the score line. And then I'm also wanting to center it. I don't want it to be too much on one side. I think right about there looks good. Hopefully that's the, yep, that's the fold line. Okay, so now your album should look like this. Now we're going to take our tabs here. We're just going to put adhesive here and here, and then we're going to fold them in. Just to tack them down. Okay, so you're going to fold one down and one down, just like that. All right, so now let me give you the whisper white pieces here. And then the whisper white pieces for the inside here, for the inside of our album, you're going to need one piece cut at three and three quarter by three and three quarter, and then two pieces for the sides at three and a half by three and a half, and two of those. Okay, so you're just going to take a ruler, and you're just going to measure your inside part of your square. So then that's the, this is actually about three and, what is that? Three and five eighths by three and five eighths. So that's why it's three and a half by three and a half. Okay, so let's go ahead and adhere all our pieces down. So then once you got your panels folded up, then you just fold this over. that and then fold this over and then you're going to fold your top and your bottom flap just like this isn't that cute so then we're, next we're going to make the belly band for it okay so i'm using a piece of coastal cabana and i believe this is one and a half yeah by ten nope nine and three quarter okay so you're just going to take your album okay, so I'm going to do it this way so my points are folding in like this I'm going to take my belly band and remember you don't want to put your belly band too tight around your album so you can slide this off really nicely I'm going to go ahead and first put some adhesive here so it holds it down so I can put some dimensionals on it to secure it line those up Okay, so we're going to put dimensionals over here along that side where they're overlapping so we can secure that so it doesn't come off. And then I went ahead and stamped Time for a Spectacular Celebration. And that stamp set is called Birthday Chair, which is also retiring from the Occasions Catalog, which is current right now until June 3rd. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my let me put another dimensional over here in the back. Okay, isn't that cute? So you can actually make this into a birthday card. So then the belly band slides off and then you have your trifold of your envelopes or a mini album. But you can put a bunch of birthday greetings in there. You can put some pictures. Just such a sweet little gift. I love it. So you just fold in your envelopes and then overlap them just like that. And we'll put our belly band back on just like that. Now this one I used the Floral Romance designer paper. Let me fold this one back up for you. Then 
Now this one I used the stamp set called Life is Grand for the Hello Dear Friend. And this is the stamp set Life is Grand, which is, oh my gosh, this stamp. Look at that. And that stamps that way. There's nothing fancy in how I stamped that. I just inked it up and I stamped it. And you got the... The dark and the shadows. Oh my gosh, it's just a beautiful stamp set. But this is also in the Occasions catalog and it's retiring. And then here's the other one that I made with the Costa Cabana cardstock. And this one now I did a little bit different as well as you can tell by the designer paper that we used on this one. Now let me show you how I made the little panels here. So if you want to make the little triangle cutouts, you're just going to take your ruler. So like this point here is about three inches. Now I would go a little bit smaller. I would even say two and three quarter. So you would cut your square two and three quarter by two and three quarter, which I do have some squares here so I can show you. So this one's actually cut at two and a half by two and a half. So you get your squares cut, then you'll just take your designer paper and you're just going to cut it point to point, just like that. Okay, so let me show you how this lays out onto your card. Use the one we just made. So, like for instance, I can just flip this over here. Let's flip it on this side and use this side over here. So, like this right here, you can put that right into the corner. Actually, I think this one would fit better in this one, the two and a half or two and three quarter. I think this was a two and a half by two and a half. So, just allow enough space around your little triangle. So if it measures three, maybe cut it down to two and a half because this is a two and a half square and I think it fits really nicely. So then this piece would go under here, just like that. So then measure this one. I think this one was what, two and three quarters? So maybe cut this one at two and a quarter. So that's how I did the little triangles onto this card right here. But just keep in mind that we're using cardstock on this one. So this one's gonna be a little bit bulkier, especially if you're mailing it. Okay, but it's so cute. And then here's the little belly band for this one. Adorable. So that's how you make the little triangles if you wanna use cardstock or if you even wanna use the designer paper, like you could put the Costa Cabana part in here as well if you wanted. I love this cute little album, it's so cute. That's it. And you just put your belly band on here. Adorable. So it's a really small one. And then here's the floral romance one as well as the cardstock one. Okay, so if you have any questions, just let me know. And the link for the blog hop that started today is listed as well down below. So if you want to check out everybody's um, blog today with all their retired stuff, you can check that out. And the items are listed below as well. And then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.